Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's July 5th, 2023, and today we are talking about chainmail. I don't mean the medieval armor that uh, protects you when you're sword fighting or whether you're jousting. or That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talk talking about chainmail like that. I'm also not talking about getting a postcard and putting a chain over it and having chainmail. No. I'm talking about... Remember back in the day you used to get letters in the mail? Okay, we still do, but back in the day we used to get letters in the mail that said, um, send this on to five other people or you're going to receive bad luck. That was chain mail. That was a form of chain mail that wanted you to keep sending, keep perpetuating, uh, keep moving this letter, this message on to somebody else. Uh, otherwise, something bad would happen to you. So it started as real mail, snail mail, we got it that way. And then we got into the world of email and you started getting these junk messages sent to you saying that uh, send these off to 10 other friends, uh, cut and paste this onto your Facebook site if you believe in this. Um, it's the only way that you can show that you believe in this is if you cut and paste it and then one of your friends also cuts and pastes it. And so those are all forms of chain letters, chain mail, um, but in a negative way. It's not something that you really want to do. Um, me personally, whenever I got one of those original letters, rip it up, throw it in the garbage. Uh, my luck was going to happen whatever way it was going to happen. It wasn't going to be tied to that particular letter. I didn't believe that. If uh, I get emails that uh, say, do this, do that, uh, they go right in the trash. Uh, people that post on their Facebook, you know, cut and paste this if you support this for cancer or this for human rights. I don't believe that, that those things have that same impact if you cut and paste someone else's words. I'd rather you put your own words out there and say if it's something you believe. And if someone uh, wants to appreciate that by leaving you a comment or uh, liking it, uh, then go ahead and do, do that. Don't cut and paste someone else's words over and over again. Uh, that's not a chain that I follow. But uh, I did have a message today from Satira, uh, who's in Indonesia, a new subscriber of the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, he's also new to Post Crossing and heard about chain um, letters. Not chain letters. Uh, chain postcards. So, a uh, chain card is what it's called. I hadn't heard about it. He sent me a message. He said, if you weren't doing anything for a video, maybe you could look into this topic. And immediately I was like, yeah, I'm going to look into that because I don't know anything about that. And anytime I can learn new things about post crossing or things with postcards or mail, uh, I want to delve in a little bit more into that. So chain cards were something new for me. I didn't know about them. Maybe you don't know about them either. So it's a good thing you tuned into the video today because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about chain cards. Now, it could be a back and forth postcard and we're going to talk about that it could be a uh, traveling postcard it could be a chain that's a link with a group of people we're going to talk about that too how you can do both of those things and uh, what it might entail so let's delve right into it right after you subscribe you like you comment you put your notification bell on so you know when i have new videos coming out um, do all those things and then share it with other people that's the only way we're uh, going to continue to grow and just like uh, Satira did he sent me a comment and uh, it generated an idea for me to do a video like this which I appreciate so whenever you guys give me positive feedback and maybe ideas of things that you want to see or maybe a topic you were thinking about but didn't know enough about uh, gives me an idea and maybe I can delve into it and get a little bit more information this probably will just touch the iceberg on some things but it might pique interest in some people to say yeah I want to try doing that so one of the things I found was called a back and forth postcard. That's where you take a postcard like this and send it to one person and they put their stamp on it after you've mailed it to them and they mail it back to you and then you put a stamp on it and mail it back to them. Uh, you may or may not put a message in here. You may just keep covering up the send to address and putting the new persons and covering it with stamps. Or you may cover over top of the stamps with new stamps and see how many cancellations and things that get. Here's an example of a picture. I'm going to throw that up of a, a card that was done like this. And um, that's something it can go for a year. You can keep going back and forth. It just depends on how much clutter you want to put on top, how much space you leave to keep covering up the address. 
and that can go back and forth with one person. Now you can write a message every time, like a one line, um, it's sunny out today. Um, uh, I just had a grandbaby today. It could be something like that, but it will limit how much you have, or it means you're putting stamps on top of other stamps. As a stamp collector, I, collector, I would rather see lots of stamps. Uh, so what I would suggest, if you're gonna do that type of thing, uh, maybe use a postcard like this, that's really long. That way, if I put one international stamp here, the next person could put an international and go across. And maybe this would fill with stamps. So if you're gonna do that, I would suggest using two postcards of this size, one from the person you're sending it to, and one from the person who is receiving it. So at the end, each person has a postcard that is gonna be covered in lovely stamps, cancellations, uh, messages, however you decide to put it. That is one way of doing a postcard chain. Uh, now that's a, that's a back and forth postcard. A true postcard chain is if you're gonna pick, let's say five different people in five different countries to send postcards to. So. I'm going to send a postcard and it's going to go off to po person B. Person B is going to send a postcard to person C, person C to D and D to E and E back to me to A. And we're going to keep sending postcards around until all the stamps, all the messages are all done. And then the first postcard that uh, you sent comes back from the fifth person back to your own possession. And then that's the way you have a chain that's completed. You're going to see all the different stamps that are on there, all the different cancellations, um, all the different messages if you decide to put messages on it. Um, so that is another type of chain that you can do. It can be either messages. So if you're only sending it to five people, it may take five months to do it, depending on how quickly the mail travels to each one of those countries. And every time you send, you're going to have a new stamp, a new cancellation from different countries and you might have a message from all five people at the end. So that's one type of chain that can be done. Or you can do a stamp chain, which just means keep sending it until it fills up. When it fills up, it's done. If you're not a stamp collector and you just want to put stamps over top of older stamps, you can use a much smaller card to do that. Um, and then you end up with whatever you end up at the end. So I think these are really cool ideas for things to do. Um, I might look into, or maybe people will message me about setting one of these chains up just to see how it goes. I mean, it could be something that could take up to a year to do. Depends on what you're doing. You're going back and forth. Um, I have some people that I trade with regularly, and maybe this is an idea they would like to do instead of the regular trades that we're doing, or possibly on top of the regular trades we're doing. Um, is just a nice way to see the same card going back and forth. Now, what I may suggest, if you're using a card of this size, it's possible it might get damaged over the years or over the months, going back and forth through the machines. It may, but probably no more than a little card like this will either. So that's something that might happen. It might get damaged. One thing you may want to do is keep track. Whenever you get the card, write the date in it, write when you sent it off. Um, so you kind of have an idea and maybe even take a picture of the card when it arrives to you. So you can see the condition that it arrived to the last person that had it. Just in case something ever happened and the card never reaches its next destination, at least you have an image of the last time that it was in someone's hand that's part of the chain. So you can do that. Um, what was the other thing I was thinking about you could do? Escape me right now. But the thing that kind of reminded me when... Uh, uh, this message was brought up to me, was Yulia in St. Petersburg. She sent out a little book, and inside of it, it had some stamps that you could take away, and you were just to put a stamp from your country inside of it and write a little message, and she was sending that to different people. Well, she sent it to one person, and each one of those person was to send it to someone until the book was full, and when the book was full, it was to be addressed and sent back to Yulia. So that was a cool idea, too. It was something that you wouldn't have a whole bunch of cancellations on because it's traveling in an envelope everywhere it goes. So as a stamp collector, I like the idea of having all the cancellations on the stamps. Um, but her idea was really cool, too, because uh, in the end, she gets a book full of stamps from all these different countries with little dates of maybe of when it arrived at the person. Um, and it might be a whole bunch of people she's never met before either, which I think is really cool. Um, so that's another idea that you can do out there. You can either send a envelope 
that has a notebook or a, a letter or something inside of it that is moving around. That's getting closer to those original chain letters, but with a happier purpose at the end. You know where it's going to eventually end up. It's going to end up back at the person who sent it, hopefully. But I do like the idea of chain cards. That you're either doing a back and forth with one person and seeing a whole bunch of things, or you're including a whole bunch of different people and having this card travel around the world, uh, presumably picking different countries. So you're getting stamps from around the world too. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. You guys can have fun with that. Maybe leave me some comments, messages, what you think about the idea of chain cards and have you done it before? Leave a comment if you have already tried that. So something new and keep the chains going in a positive way. Um, yeah, no chain mail medieval style today, different type of chain mail. Have yourself a magical week. Like follow, you say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?